Hi there guys, so there is a new Nigerian heavyweight on the scene. He is 6-0 with 6 knockouts and he believes that one day the country of Nigeria will stand still to watch him fight Anthony Joshua. His name is Rafael Akbayori. He is fighting currently in the United States and as I said, he is 6-0 with 6 knockouts as a professional. Many of those wins though would have came against journeymen so ultimately we need to see him step up before he even starts talking about Anthony Joshua. Obviously that is the goal, he has that in mind but now he has said that he must show us that he is able to get to that stage. He must now step up even though he is only 6-0. He needs to step up and let us know that that could be a possibility down the line. A fight between him and Anthony Joshua likely in Nigeria itself. What a fight that would be. But ultimately as I said he needs to prove that he is ready and that he can reach that level. A Richard Larty who gave Daniel Dubois a good few rounds. That would be a good step up for him. Someone who would take him rounds because only one of his fights has gone past the first round so he is a ferocious puncher but again it's at that level the level of journeyman so ultimately he's not the huge puncher on the world scene or even domestic level so ultimately he needs to step up first before talking about Anthony Joshua but as I said he's mentioned Anthony Joshua's name Anthony Joshua has that Nigerian heritage and he believes that the country of Nigeria will stand still one day to watch them battle it out now obviously Anthony Joshua is currently having mandatories with Kubrat Pulev and Alexander Usyk and looking forward to a potential undisputed fight with Tyson Fury and Rafael Akpayori is currently just a prospect he's not even in any rankings or anything like that he's 6-0 with 6 knockouts so let's not get carried away with the fact that he's a new Nigerian heavyweight he's big 6 foot 8 but as I said he's not tested we don't know how good he really is but that hasn't stopped him from talking about this fight with Anthony Joshua this is what he had to say. I can guarantee that the whole country would be tuned in. I can guarantee that the whole of Africa will be tuned in. I have actually thought a lot about the prospect of that. I still have a lot of work to do though. He also said that if anyone stands in front of him, they will get knocked out. So he believes he is a ferocious puncher, but I don't believe he's a one punch knockout artist, even though most of his fights have gone one round and only one going two rounds. I've watched him fight in a few fights now, and he does telegraph his punches quite a bit he is 29 years old as well so he's not old but he needs to be more active he needs to be fighting three or four times a year as an amateur he had 14 fights losing a solitary fight and most of them fights did end in knockout as well but as a pro he is unblemished as a professional so ultimately as I said he needs to step up he needs to be more active he's 6-0 29 years old by the time he's 31, 32, maybe 33, he will be coming into his prime. So he needs to be at the best of his abilities by then. He needs to be having the proper fights. He needs to be having fights with fighters who actually fight back, not just journeymen who come in to take a paycheck, someone who actually wants to win. Because as I said, so far 6-0 with 6 journeymen. And while he does look explosive in those fights, they're against fighters who are coming in for a paycheck. I mean, obviously they want to win, otherwise they won't get in there. But ultimately, he needs someone who is going to give him some trouble, someone who is going to ask some questions of him and someone who does throw punches back. As I said, he telegraphs his punches quite a bit. He has a good jab, but you can see a lot of the punches coming. You can see him wind up for them. And obviously that is going to put more power in the punch as well. It is a lot more difficult to get power into your shots when you are picking your shots and trying to set traps, trying to make sure that the opponent doesn't know what is coming because obviously they will counter it. They will move out the way of it. So ultimately his power will diminish when he has to start doing that at this stage he can just wind up and load up with those big punches against someone more skillful he won't be able to do that anyway guys what are your thoughts on this the new Nigerian nightmare that is coming for Anthony Joshua one day we need to see him in there with better opposition before he starts talking about Anthony Joshua anyway guys drop your thoughts in the comments below click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new thanks guys